I suffer so long that I built a home. They tap at the windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and then I swear from inside I could feel it. Now here you are with your mallet and light out of your own house. You think it's all right? Don't touch my windows, my bricks or my rules. I won't hear it. Open the door. How do I know? Stillness means end, or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help. Can't tell the difference on unsteady floor. Will I be rewarded or lose even more? Safety in numbers, but I never said I was ready. Open the door. What if we fail? One was enough. Now we should have stayed planted. I do not trust you. Don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help. I called for My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Matt. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Cosmopolitan for Max, vodka shot for Sophie, very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Sophie! <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? 
No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? She died my senior year. Oh, shit. No, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You want to talk about something else? God, yes. Deal. Amanda. I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things, man. Great eye, Reggie. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. Joyce seems like she's thriving.
The Abraxas is a student society. They do performance art, which as far as I can tell, just means juvenile pranks.
the likes and then talk about them. I can do that. commitment to a bit as much as the next girl but the bit here is just confusing gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy who just does this gosh these are really beautiful Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius I guess sure if that's a compliment oh man I want to get on the bad pickup line board I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I can borrow So fucking over him. Like I haven't heard that one before. I'm serious about it this time. I'm about to fly off the handle here. What does that even mean? I'm at my limit. I I'm speaking English here. <laughs> but are you really? Uh huh. His hair? So about it. I kinda like it. And he ends the photo with him kissing his own bicep? No way. The soup future is in my hands. been able to say no to a good lagoon. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. How do you do, fellow kids? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> you think he'd have freshmen for that? So, why do people join Abraxas? It just... Sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that mattered. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> Ten bucks she asks her out. Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Um, lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school. Ugh. Cringe worthy. 
but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Why are you talking to me? Talk to her. Okay, okay. Tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> oh, you're good. Let's turn this frown right side up. Product, product, product. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Clearly, someone else has taken the plunge. Ah, uh, undergrads. Good beer. Good ethics. What else could you ask for? Tell signs of a ten coffee all nighter. If a man doesn't notice anything to go by, this canvas placement isn't part of the artist's vision. If a man doesn't notice anything to go... Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Just talk to her, Max. You know how to talk. Usually. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. Okay, three pickup lines. That's enough material, right? I should have enough to talk about now.
It's now or never, Max. Go talk to her. Busy night. Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now. You are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman! Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography is a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. My bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. I'm gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your rec on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Those photos on the wall over there, is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm -hmm. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. How did you... It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass, rich kid secret society? Bite your tongue. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. 
So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to score. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines in a small town like you. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey baby, I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> So, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Linkport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um, oh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but... Is this a date thing, or is this a friend thing? I was thinking more of a friend thing. Cool. That's why I asked. Friend thing it is. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are a total blur. But Amanda's really cool. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, cause I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> so, what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of them. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we?